On the hit Netflix series Money Heist When they first entered the Royal Mint of Spain back in Season 1, Tokyo Denver Nairobi Helsinki and Rio all wore a realistic Salvador Dali mask and bright red jumpsuit as a disguise But who is Salvador Dali? Salvador Dali was a prominent Spanish surrealist painter born in Figueres, Catalonia, on May 11, 1904. Dali's father was strict in the education of his children unlike the mother. Dali had a brother named Salvador who was born nine months before him and died of gastroenteritis. When he was five, Dolly was taken to his brother's grave and was told that he was his brother's reincarnation. At an early age, Salvador Dolly's parents encouraged him to produce highly sophisticated drawings and was sent to drawing school in Figueres, Spain in 1916. In February 1921, Dolly's mother died of breast cancer. Dolly was 16 years old, he later said his mother's death was the greatest blow he had experienced in his life. After her death, Dolly's father married his deceased wife's sister. Dolly did not resent this marriage, because he had a great love and respect for his aunt. In 1922, Dali moved to Madrid and studied at the Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando where he already drew attention as an eccentric and dandy. He was influenced by several different artistic styles, including metaphysics and cubism. Dali was expelled from the academy in 1926, shortly before his final exams when he was accused of starting an unrest. Later, Dali visited Paris where he met Pablo Picasso whom he revered. Picasso had already heard favorable reports about Dali from Joan Miro, a fellow Catalan who introduced him to many surrealist friends. As he developed his own style over the next few years, Dali made a number of works heavily influenced by Picasso and Miro. In August 1929, Dolly met his lifelong and primary muse, inspiration, and future wife Gala. She was a Russian immigrant ten years his senior. They married in 1934. In addition to inspiring many artworks throughout her life, Gala would act as Dolly's business manager. Dolly was a skilled draftsman, best known for the striking and bizarre images in his surrealist work. His painterly skills are often attributed to the influence of Renaissance masters. His best known work, The Persistence of Memory, was completed in August 1931. Dolly's expansive artistic repertoire included film, sculpture, and photography in collaboration with a range of artists in a variety of media. Dolly attributed his love of everything that is gilded and excessive, my passion for luxury and my love of oriental clothes to an Arab lineage, claiming that his ancestors were descended from the Moors.
Dolly was highly imaginative, and also enjoyed indulging in unusual and grandiose behavior. His eccentric manner and attention-grabbing public actions sometimes drew more attention than his artwork, to the dismay of those who held his work in high esteem, and to the irritation of his critics. In 1980s at age 76, Dolly's health took a catastrophic turn. His right hand trembled terribly, with Parkinson-like symptoms. His near-senile wife allegedly had been dosing him with a dangerous cocktail of unprescribed medicine that damaged his nervous system, thus causing an untimely end to his artistic capacity. His wife Gayla died on June 10, 1982, at the age of 87. After Gayla's death, Dolly lost much of his will to live. On the morning of January 23, 1989, while his favorite record of Tristan and Isolde played, Dolly died of heart failure at Figuries at the age of 84.